Hello, boys and girls. My name is Otzusi, and welcome back to another day in Minecraft. In the last episode, I hinted that we will do something uh, with uh, these here chorus fruits, and uh, you might have guessed it. We will build a farm. What else? But not for the purpose of nourishment or uh, for the fun fact uh, to imitate enemies teleporting randomly around all over the place. But for these androids. As you know, they can be uh, created by combining a blaze rod and a popped chorus fruit. And the fruit is popped by putting them in the oven. They don't like the heat that much, so uh, they pop. So to do this, we will build a farm, as uh, already mentioned, and we will do it right here at the uh, back of our uh, still unsightly farm tower. Um, and I will uh, create... Uh, a bit of uh, prepare the land a bit uh, so uh, we can dig in and last time you might remember we created the, the flower farm which uh, will come in right handy uh, for uh, planting the chorus trees so well, let's prepare the land first I planted some chorus uh, trees here uh, to uh, figure out how high our actual farm should be and uh, some of them still has a bit uh, to grow so uh, we will see uh, where that average is at and this here will be the corner of our collection system so let me dig a trench here, uh, 15 wide, 3, 4, too much, too, too much. And uh, we will use water for collection. So assuming that we have one source here, uh, we would need to go down here one more. And yes, uh, which means we can then have uh, chests here. And hoppers going in behind. And then on top, Uh, we have one, two, few. Um, but with that, we should be able to access the chest down there. And uh, we will decorate this thing with uh, smooth stone blocks as is uh, the custom here around and then from there on we can build up our firm which will go in this direction and basically use the same principle with uh, water flowing down for uh, some blocks then dropping down further to transport everything down um yeah so i think i will prepare some layers uh, and then we will see what i've got the foundations are in and uh, due to the uh, staggered layout 
the uh, one water source there at the back is enough to wash everything down and into the trench we have just dug. So the uh, that was graceful. Um, for the wall design, I went here with a uh, uh, brick and uh, blackstone brick, and it could do with a bit more uh, a variation, but that will come in uh, due time. And next thing is put in a bit of redstone so uh, I can control the pistons there at the back to uh, control the water flow, and then um, building up the walls and the roofs and uh, then we're basically done already time to go to bed redstone is now in as you can see all pistons are extended holding back the water and here i have a sticky piston with a lever on top and a slime block below attached to a redstone block which powers uh, redstone line that goes all the way back there uh, powering and depowering the pistons so all that remains is the walls and the roofs and probably figuring something out here for the front the back is probably not that um, that important as the front right as you go in to the front and not into the back but we will see how well i will manage the skeleton for the walls and the roof is done and if this looks somewhat familiar you might have uh, seen xuma white's recent uh, video where he basically uh, built the same structure so that's where i got inspiration from i think the the width is uh, exactly the same as uh, as his but that's pure coincidence as we have um, an uneven uh, width here uh, due to the uh, fact that uh, we need three spaces on either side of these uh, end stone blocks where we uh, will plant the, uh, the flowers uh, and uh, this makes up a total width of uh, 15 which works out nicely so now i have to come up with something for the walls um, especially front and back i think side and of course the top will be glass not sure yet what color goes well i decided on uh, yellow glass here uh, for the roof and the walls as i think it contrasts uh, nicely or goes nicely together with the uh, purple of the chorus tree uh, so, yep, but we have to do something about this snow here. Uh, while it's not that ugly on, uh, on the wood here, um, it really is not good on the glass. So... I will string the place up and uh, that while the flowers can grow and then we can have a harvest to uh, finish this episode. All the chorus flowers are grown out and uh, none reached all the way to the top which means um, we have built high enough. So. Uh, What's your guess how many chorus fruit we will get from this? Oh, let's wash everything down. Takes a bit.
even overshoots and what do we have one scaffold and two full stacks and 21 so maybe uh, to sort things out we should have a water source here washing everything down to this side and then I will replant and we call this farm done for today. Hope you enjoyed this episode of my uh, Let's Play series. And uh, I will be back pretty soon with another one. See you then. Goodbye.